welcome or welcome back to my channel today's video is a whole house clean with me and let me tell you i literally got this whole house clean in one day and you know me i don't usually get that done like that usually i take a few days or two days to get it done but this particular day i literally got my whole house done in one day i don't know what it was i don't know what kind of vibe i was in i don't know but th this is my old self used to do this all the time get my house done in one day maybe i'm getting back to my old self i don't know but <laughs> i literally cleaned my whole house in one day um so it is summertime so it makes it we're in the house a lot more we are making more mess every day <laughs> so i would say the house wasn't that bad it was just when you see my kids room you just like oh yeah it's summertime um my room wasn't that bad it was mostly it just needed to be dusted i'm, I'm not even gonna lie it, it was dusty very dusty um but just dusting and vacuuming i have a dog and have two kids that are in and out of my room all the time so yeah you can see my carpet could be a mess after a while so it needed a good vacuum and just need to be dusted i already picked it up so i didn't have to do they wasn't that kind of mess i've been trying they say on top of my like daily chores of just picking up my room or picking up the kitchen and just cleaning the counters those are the two rooms I try, especially if my room's a mess, I don't want to get out of bed. So I try to keep on top of, you know, the clutterness of clothes everywhere on the floor or stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, if you don't know, my husband is on the road now. Um, this particular day, this is, he was already on the road and all his bags and everything was gone because he's going to be on the road for a few days. He will be back, so he gets to come home to a clean house. Lucky him. <laughs> um, but I am just gonna move on and finish up my bedroom and then we'll move on to my bathroom. Yeah. Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no Just wanna make it stop Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I Say we didn't. I was your first love, and you were my first one. She's the one oh, the bathroom. <laughs> it really wasn't that bad. It was just needed to be straightened up. And my husband's side of the sink was messy from him shaving and everything. Yeah, that's his side. You can see my side is not that bad. <laughs> so but i want to straighten up a little bit before i start cleaning my sinks um i just did a linen closet i mean it's not the best i, I need to invest in in the future a vacuum seal bag for at least my comforters and then i can make a lot more room but until then i did the best i can with what i got so but I am cleaning my sinks and i'm gonna move on to my toilet i didn't do the shower and nothing but i did do the toilet and the sink, and then I vacuumed the floor, of course. The memories, the venom, and the remedies, yeah. Promise I won't forget, yeah. Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now, it doesn't even matter. It's too late not to let it go, and that's why I. Get dressed and then we cry Cause we both 
I show the best to say goodbye. You start to get dressed and then we cry. Cause we both know it's gonna hurt. But not as much as this does. Oh, baby, bye. It's for the best and you know why. You gotta leave me here right now. Before we make this even worse. It's gonna hurt. to my laundry room yeah i needed to walk down this dryer <laughs> but i you ever got that kind of moment when your dryer or your washing machine is like cluttered with clothes that you need to be put up and stuff like that and it just makes you not want to go in your laundry room even more that is how i am i don't know anybody else is like that but i'm like that i well my laundry room kind of gets a mess and there's clothes everywhere and it's hard to walk in there to even start a load i don't want to go in there it makes me not even want to put those clothes up it don't make me want to wash any clothes but it does feel good once i get in there and get it all done that's what i did the day before um i didn't film it but it's okay i don't film absolutely everything i don't and that's okay because last weekend i didn't film i had a lot of things going on but i didn't feel because it was a family time you know i think any vlogger or anybody who's on youtube need to just take a break and just have that family moment and not have a camera up you know i'm like that sometimes that camera don't even move <laughs> if i got family stuff it just stays where i put it and it's when i'm ready to vlog i'll vlog if i'm not gonna vlog i'm not gonna vlog but I'm not going to do every, absolutely everything on the internet. So, um, I share a good bit. But, see, I told you it is summertime. Look at that. Oh, um, God. And you know my youngest child's room is never this bad. Yeah, I let it go. <laughs> like Elsa said in Frozen, I let it go, okay? <laughs> so, but it made me feel better. I need to pick a day and just literally go through her shoes right there and straighten them up. I need to go through her stuffed animals and straighten them up because over there on the other side of the bunk bed, you can see there's a bunch of like stuffed animals and I don't really straighten them up anymore because there's just so many of them. But I need one that they go under that change the table and straighten up the shoes she can wear, the shoes she can't wear, the shoes I need to put up for if we have another one. If we have another one. Um I would like to have another one. <laughs> it's getting my husband on board is the problem. But um that's what I just need to do one day. I just need to attack that. I used to make it look good until I let my girl pick her shoes out every time we go somewhere and she just kind of just throws them in there or just throws them over there. So yeah. I need to go I need actually need to go through both my girls it's called, um shoes. The thing is, you don't see my oldest child's shoes because they're in her closet. But don't that look better? Oh my god, that looks so much better. All right, moving on to the bathroom. <laughs> this bathroom don't take that long usually. Um, usually I just have to make sure I get all that toothpaste off the sink because they're so bad about it. But I love them. But they're so bad about doing that poop face all over my sink. So, but once I get done, I usually just do that and do this toilet and then i'll i vacuum too but i didn't i don't think i filmed the vacuuming part in this one but i did vacuum after i got done with this room i vacuumed actually every room i just might not have filmed it all <laughs> um usually i do the tubs and the showers on a different day because you know what they are they are workout that's just a workout in itself just to clean the tub and the shower so just letting you know um we're moving on to my oldest child's room yeah hers wasn't that bad you know usually hers is bad hers ain't that bad i'll give her that most of hers is just need to be 
blankets fold up a little bit better and just some stuff straighten up and find a home. But on that, her room wasn't that bad. I'll give her that. <laughs> she has been doing good about keeping her rooms semi pretty good. But mommy has to come in here once in a while and just straighten it up to mommy's standards. I'm just saying. <laughs> And mommy standards at least make the bed a little bit better. The blankets folded and just stuff picked up. That's all. That's all I ask. Um, <laughs> but I am going to fold her blankets, pick up a little bit. I'm also going to fix up her bookshelf because it got kind of crazy. Um, my youngest one likes to come in here and look at the books. And then I find clothes, of course, under the blankets that need to be put up. Also clothes that I knew she wore, she never put in the hamper and did that, which I'm kind of glad I did clean her room before I did her the clothes because I'd be mad. I'd be like, oh my goodness, I found all these clothes, but I just did a load. So I'm glad I did the load after <laughs> I cleaned my house. So, but I'm just going to finish up her room and then I'm going to vacuum. I did the vacuuming part is very quick because i already vacuumed and i noticed i didn't hit the record button i get tired of doing that i think i'll hit the record button and then i don't <sighs> it's a struggle man it's a struggle <laughs> you say we're done but you still want more baby what i need is you out the door this time i'm sure yeah that you're a bad boy up to no good trying to be a man but you're stuck in boy moving on to my dining room my dining room wasn't that bad it really wasn't i got rid of that stuff right there because i got tired of looking at it um my daughters get their papers that i like to draw on right there in that little cubby hole um and i just wanted to dust i really wanted to dust first because it's always using my last thing i do in this room but this particular day i was like you know what i'm gonna dust i'm gonna dust first and then i'm gonna work on the kitchen table and this room didn't take long, of course, because the only thing I had to do was dust this furniture and then wipe down the kitchen table. Because it's much, I actually, the night before, I actually very, I cleaned it very good. If you saw my reel on my Instagram, you saw. <laughs> um, so that wasn't really that big of a mess. Like it usually is. Now, you know, sometimes my kitchen table is like a hot mess. It catches everything. This time it didn't. I would say that. So, um, but it was just picking up from breakfast when I ate. That was it. That's all I did. <laughs> Made a mess up. So I'm going to wipe it down and then I'm going to vacuum it. Guess I needed to see who you really are. Breaker of hearts. Yeah. cleaning my front area of my house where the front door and when we come in and out of this is i next year i'm gonna try to buy some um hooks for those book bags so it won't be as bad but that's usually where we put our book bags every day after school but they're still there i don't know if i'll move them or not i just might leave them there until next year i don't know but i usually don't film me cleaning this but that, that particular day i was like you know what we gonna clean, we gonna clean, film this. 
Um, so it's really an easy area. This particularly, I need to mop that area though. Um, so I got my steam mop out. I got mine from Lowe's. Just anybody wants to know, if you want to know, I got mine from Lowe's. I don't know if they still have it. So, <laughs> but um, also these chairs right here are from a birthday party in March, and my mom never got came back and get them. She brought them over here for her to my oldest daughter's birthday party, and she never got them. It's already June. I told her, let me just keep them until my youngest daughter's birthday, which is this month. And then you can have them back, because I'm like, I won't get rid of them by then, because I'm like, I'm not keeping them all the way to March, so. But, um, I told my daughter to take a drink in the kitchen. It helps me out <laughs> for me going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So, but, um... Just straighten up, grabbing some trash that was everywhere, grabbing some stuffed animals that was there, and you saw me toss it. I made it to a room, guys. Score. So, but this particular room, it just needed to be picked up and dusted and vacuumed because this room is really, really used. It's technically not even a living room. I don't even give it the title of a living room anymore. It's technically a playroom. Um, I'm never in here. I'm using my room, watching my own TV, and I usually let the girls have the TV in the living room. So, technically, it's their room. I'm fine with it, though. So, <laughs> so that's usually how it goes. So, but I just wanted to dust it down, make it look a little bit nicer. Girls, they're going, in about five minutes, they're going to have it a mess again. So, yeah. Um, I took a picture of it once I got everything clean and everything. <laughs> Because I'm like, five minutes later, it's going to be a mess. I'm not going to look like that. I need, I need pictures of it. Um, so, But I finally took my, all my Easter stuff. Yeah. You saw me the little bunnies I picked up. Yeah. I was the only Easter stuff I had left up. So, <laughs> I finally got it down. Um, so, I'm just going to dust this TV stand. It's so bad when it comes to dog hair. Because my dog is blonde. Oh, now you can see the dust real good. Like, this TV stand is the worst when it comes to that. Like, you can literally see the dog hair and the dust and everything. It's so bad. I have to make sure I dust that TV stand so, so, so well because. <laughs> also, you've seen that blue little mark on the floor. That is from a candle. Long story short, my daughter picked up the candle. And I told her to put it down. And she dropped it. Yes, nothing was burnt. Nothing was okay. Nothing broke. Nothing was burnt because it was lit. And she was fine and everything else. Just know that my floor got the mess. Got the wax on it. So I had to tap that one day. <laughs> but I am going to vacuum. You see, I'm vacuuming my rocking chair area and just vacuum right there. Ever since I had that table right there, I'm really debating to have a little small long table right behind my couch i'm really thinking about it since i had that table there so long i kind of feel it but not as wide as that table a little bit skinnier so but i am just going to vacuum and i am going to move on to the last room i decided to make the kitchen the last room of the house to clean because it wasn't that bad it mostly i needed to do for the kitchen was the floors. They the kitchen was not bad. I stayed on top of it. Look at me. Hell, look at me now. All right. <laughs> so, but I'm just gonna finish up vacuuming this floor and then I go move on to the kitchen. <laughs> so you see I just decided to load up the dishwasher again, which wasn't bad. It was mostly bowls and like a coffee mug. I had everything loaded up the night before, but I wanted to add a few more dishes to it. And then I was going to start it up and have it done and finished. And I did. I was, I was very happy with myself that day. I'm just saying how much stuff I did accomplish in one day. So, but I was just wiping down my counters. And then I'm going to move on to my other counter. Clean up from breakfast the morning up. Because I cleaned up. The night before, after dinner, and if you, like I said, you go on my Instagram, 
Also, my Instagram is now in the description box if you ever want to look me up on Instagram. I'm also on Twitter, but I know a lot of people ain't on Twitter. But I have a Twitter. I've had it since 2009, so <laughs> I just have it. <laughs> but I am just straighten up a little bit and before I vacuum. And then I'm going to just mop my floor and that's it. Also, if you haven't ordered a shirt for the fundraiser that I'm doing, um, it's, I still have a link. Um, it's still available, so you can still get it. It's no time limit. You can get it anytime you can or when you can. So I'm not going to pressure you to get one. You can also do donate a dollar. I've seen somebody do that before. And I'm like, okay. I'll take that. That's something. So, just check it out. It's in my description box. Um, the prices are pretty high because it's I'm going through a website and they have to get their money and I also have to get my money kind of thing. So, I would say that's the only thing that kind of sucks. They're a little high for like a t-shirt. But, it goes to a good cause. All that goes to that call to a charity for mental health and does not come to me. So, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and I'll see y'all guys next time. Bye guys.